Still All right. Paydays every Sunday. Today, my mom found this thing that I must have got free from cleaning up a garage or something, and I kept it because it was 23. Okay, not 24. 23 karat gold, and it was Michael Jordan. And you know, uh, I thought maybe it would be worth something, so. I didn't leave it out there at the yard sale to sell or whatever and I thought maybe somehow I'll sell this some other way anyway I know we got some basketball players and I know some of y'all think Michael Jordan may have been the GOAT the GOAT greatest of all time I'm not into sports that much so I have no idea how I got these I don't even remember how I got these and they got put away and mom found them today when she was cleaning up and uh well they're 23 karat gold Michael Jordan 19 they, they say 1986 on here but this is 1999 uh, it's a conflict of interest. Anyway, this is his retirement. These are retirement cards. There's a three pack retirement card. He retired January 13th, 1999. So that makes these cards like it's 20, 20 now. These cards are like 20. These cards are 20 something years old. Anyway. Uh, oh, now this signature is it looks like it's an authentic actually signed by Michael Jordan but it also looks like it's a facsimile on, I mean this side looks kind of like a facsimile but this guy kind of looks like he actually signed it so that's different um so we have his stats for like that year his last year have his birthday his height his weight the college he went to on that card uh here's another one and they're numbered they're numbered this one's numbered they're this one's 280, yeah. number 287. This one's, it'd be cooler if they, this is also 287. This one is 2169, I guess. So, kind of weird how this one has a different number than these two. I mean, you would think they would be in a set that would all have the same 287 number of now this one is of 9923 so they do only make 9923 of those but this one is 2169 of 19860 so they made even less of these two than this one so they're limited edition, even though that limit number is like almost 10,000. <coughs> so is that really, I mean, is it a really a limited edition when they only made 10, when the number is 10,000? I don't know, what y'all think? But then is it really a limited edition when they made like almost 20,000 of that one? Now, if it's a real signature, I mean, they're already worth money because, one, they're gold. I mean, 23 karat gold, not complete gold, but 23 karat gold, that's pretty good. Uh, so they're worth money because, well, they're made with actual gold. Uh, uh, then they're worth money because they're Michael Jordan. I mean, people are do like Michael Jordan. And then they're also kind of worth money because, well, they're limited edition, right? So that's good. And then this one's probably worth money because it is an actual 
<laughs> Signature. I believe that's a is real authentic actual signature I don't know I mean the red one looks like it was designed to be for all I know both of them might be authentic signatures hard to tell um red looks like it's designed to be a facsimile though black style looks more authentic to me but it, both could be facsimiles but the idea that it has a little mistake right there, if you can see that, makes it look more authentic to me. This one, having them a full signature of a name doesn't look as authentic as this one does because this one looks like he was trying to sign it real fast because he's busy. I mean, if he had to sign 20, almost 20,000 of these things, don't you think you would sign them pretty dang fast? Anyway, the point is, they're pretty cool. I'm pretty sure I got some basketball plan fans out there, or maybe some Michael Jordan fans. Um, I do have a Michael Jordan rookie card. Which might be worth something. The thing is, I don't have his basketball rookie card. I have a rookie set for a baseball year, and the year he actually, that one year he tried out, I have that rookie's set somewhere um, in my baseball cards that I have a couple of baseball cards I collected. I kept some of the rookie not some of the sets Shh. I had some of the some of the little rookie sets and one of the rookie sets I have or had actually had the Michael Jordan he was his year he played was one of the rookie sets I had they're small little sets they're not as big as the whole complete set of hundreds of cards anyway if I ever find those sets wherever I put those wherever I put those I'll do a video of them because I used to collect baseball cards but then I got rid of like most of them but I kept some of the sets I kept some of the sets And I put them in, I think, a foul cabinet somewhere. <laughs> <coughs> and I have no clue where they are. Anyway, so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> now, I know this says rookie card, but it's not a rookie card. It does say 23 karat gold, and it says M. Jordan 86 Fleer. Well, this is an 86, and I don't think any of these are rookie cards. Unless one of these is supposed to be a facsimile copy of his rookie card. See, this looks like it has all the years he played. And this one might have been just the year he played as a rookie. I don't know anything about all of them. I'm not a, base, a basketball fan. I'm not a fan of sports in general. So, remember, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Jesus loves you. Jesus is God. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Keep on gaming. Uh, hope you enjoyed these 23 karat gold Michael Jordan cards. And, uh, Heck, someone give me an offer. And, uh, if they're worth something, cool. If there's not, cool. I mean, somebody give me an offer, I'm liable to sell. Uh, have a great day. Leaders.